guys and welcome back to the channel this video is sponsored by dossier perfumes and they sent me six fragrances i did a review i didn't i did a initial review on them maybe a month or two ago so now i'm just giving you guys like an updated review so like a month later i am going to be reviewing how long they lasted the one that i actually loved like if anybody gave me any compliments on any of them um and all of that so let's just jump right into the video okay so the first one that i'll be going over is the fruity jasmine and this one it is or it, it is inspired by giador dior's giador this one i really love this one i wore this a couple times actually got complimented on it and it actually stayed for a while surprisingly because i know it only has like 18 percent concentration so in my head i thought it was not going to stay like after a day or two but this one actually stayed i loved it this is my second favorite one um yeah so this one actually stayed for like a day or two really really loved it got complimented on it a few times um so this one is definitely a yes for me fruity jasmine the and it's inspired by dior's jador the second fragrance is the woody tobacco and this one is this one is inspired by Mars. I think it's Mason. Yeah, so Mason Margiela's Replica Jazz Club. This one stays. I don't know if the concentration is different from any of the other ones. I don't remember, I should say. But this one actually stayed. This one was... This one became... Like, literally for the entire month of March, I used this one. I'm always using this one like the other ones I use like if I'm going to the gym or if I'm just like taking a shower for the day and I don't know about you guys but sometimes I wear like fragrances even when I'm just inside the house I use the other ones for that but this one for sure I went to an event a brand event somebody asked somebody had asked me what perfume I was wearing I went out when I was in Toronto a guy complimented me on my perfume as soon as i walked in they were just like mm, you smell so good and this is what i was wearing right i really really love this one get it get it so this one now it's woody chestnuts and it is inspired by mason magellas as well but this one is by the fireplace the other one was jazz club which i don't remember if i told you guys when i initially smelled jazz, jazz club i really really wanted that perfume so i knew i was going to love that one and I did not tell any lie that one was my favorite this one is uh, by the, the replica by fireplace it's not really my favorite but it wasn't too too bad like it wasn't too too bad this one was probably compared to everything this one was probably my, my third favorite I wore this and I probably got complimented on it maybe like once or twice not compared to the woody tobacco though but this one stayed for i'm going to say it stayed for an entire day um my clothes was in the wash and when i took it out and i smelled like when i'm doing the laundry it, it, it was on it still the woody tobacco stayed for like two days because i had my um my winter jacket and after i sprayed it on i wore it and the next like you don't you know you don't wash your winter jacket every day you wash your winter jackets really and truly people don't wash their winter jackets and most people until like the end of winter <laughs> um and it, it literally stayed on my jacket for maybe like almost a week the only tobacco i'm not even kidding this one stayed on it maybe like a day or two but not so much but this one was still yeah this one was still um I got complimented on this one but just not as much as the jazz club next one is amber cherry so this one was inspired by tom ford's last cherry honestly this one did, did not warm up to me at all i thought i would have gotten used to it like i thought this would have been like an acquired scent but unfortunately it was not i don't like i don't like how this one smell i don't like how it smell um so if i'm supposed to get like the tom ford last cherry i definitely would not get it it's just not for me i don't really love this one's probably my least favorite i don't love it there is an ingredient that is in it that is throwing me off my least favorite is between this one and the floral marshmallow which i'm going to be reviewing next but yeah i don't know i can't even tell you guys how long this one stays because i, I did not wear this one 
to that i probably put it on myself maybe like two times um and the both times i wore i wore it i was just like why the hell did i why did i spray this one i don't know this one just not for me not for me yeah so this one is the floral marshmallow and it is inspired by killian's don't be shy killian's love don't be shy this one has this a similar review compared to amber cherry like i feel like both amber cherry and the floral marshmallow are on the same level it's just not for me these ones are just not for me they're just not my favorite but it them can go on same thing when i wore when i wore this one i was just like why did i put this perfume on <laughs> like i'm not even going to lie i don't know if like i don't know if after a while if i continue wearing it i might get used to it and eventually love it but for now it's still not my favorite it both amber cherry and floral and marshmallow are on the same level for me and then the last but not least this one is the amber cedar wood and this one was inspired by Mugler's alien this one wasn't so bad this one was actually my fourth favorite it wasn't so bad i used it maybe twice um but i really love the wooded tobacco so that's why i was mostly using that one but i won't say i hate this one it's not so bad i actually like it i just kept on reaching for the wooded tobacco because that one is my favorite but i feel like for the month of april i'm probably going to be concentrating on the amber cedar wood because i actually like it it's not bad i actually like it but it's just not as good as the wooded tobacco like the wooded tobacco chef kisses chef kisses um but this one did stay i think it has similar similar concentration as the woody tobacco it stayed for a while when i used it um but like i said i just did not continue using it like that because i was just always reaching for the woody tobacco i don't know why i don't know why i'm just always did i use that one but but this one similar similar like it's close close to the woody tobacco but just not not better than it but close um but yeah that's it for the six fragrances that i have um i'm going to give them a next month i'm going to give myself a next month with them and try them again and to see like if anything changes but for now i am going to go over all six and just give them my ratings out of 10. Um, woody chestnut this is a 8 out of 10. woody chestnut 8 out of 10. fruity jasmine same 8 out of 10. um Woody Tobacco, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Actually, the Woody Chestnut, I'm going to change it. <laughs> I'm going to change it to a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Fruity Jasmine, 8 out of 10. The Woody Tobacco, 10 out of 10. Um, Amber Cherry, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I'm going to really like it. I do really like that one. Amber Cedarwood. I'm gonna give it a 5.5 .5 out of 10. The amber cherry is my least favorite. And then for the floral marshmallow, floral marshmallow, I'm gonna give it a 8.5 out of 10. So I think the floral marshmallow might be my second favorite. It's between the floral marshmallow and the woody chestnut for my second favorite. Um, but yeah, that is it for my monthly review or my monthly updated review for the dossier perfumes stay tuned for a next review because i'm coming back to let you guys know if i actually changed my mind about any of them um but for now these are the ratings that i have for them thank you dossier for sponsoring this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel leave all your comments down below and if you guys ended up buying some of these perfumes let me know what you rate them out of if not Maybe you should try them. I definitely recommend the woody tobacco for sure. The woody tobacco, the woody chestnuts, and the floral marshmallow. You guys won't go wrong with any of those. But, yeah, that's, this is the end. Thank you guys for watching. And I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Bye.